Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Kate and this is my floss tube channel, Stitchy Kate. I have some projects to show you today. I am a little bit late. I'm about a week late and the reason is because I got into sewing. I started making project bags and I couldn't stop. So I have some of those to show. I'll show those at the end. But for now, in my last video, I did a giveaway. I did um, a Mill Hill kit for a Tropical Santa and I did a Shepherd's Bush kit. And the winner of the Tropical Santa is Janet Doucette. And the winner of the Shepherd's Bush is Anana Grits. So I, if you want to, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me. And both of those are in the um, description box below. So if you get a hold of me, I will get those mailed out to you. Next up, I have two new starts and I worked on six projects. My, which order are we gonna go in? We'll, go, we'll do new starts last. This one, I think I've shown this in every video so far. It's Village Inn by Mill Hill. Um, here's what it will look like when it's done. You know what? I have a kit for this. Village Inn. Here's what it will look like when it's done. And it is quite nearly done. Here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. All that's left is beading. I need to bead in here and then it will be done just in time for Christmas. Oh man, I really like these. <laughs> yeah, I need to bead in the shingles and then Like there's some snow in the bushes. Oh, there's like some gold beads in the windows. And then, yeah, this one's done. Village Inn. I'm kind of sad that it's almost over. Maybe that's why it's taking me so long to finish that one. Next up, I have Witch and Frog from Maria Bravka of Cute Patterns by Maria on Etsy. This one, this one I really, really, really love stitching on. I never want to stop stitching on it, but I also don't want it to be finished because then I won't get to stitch on it anymore. Um, here's what it will look like when it's done. Here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. I finished um, her skirt. So her skirt is completely done except for some back stitching and three stitches right here of a color that I ran out of. And I started working on her purse and and up here, like you can see, this is the edge of her shoulder. So honestly, like most of her dress is done and then I get to move up into the face, which I've been saving for last because that's going to be the really, really fun part. So that is Witch and Frog from Maria Bravka. Next up is the Mermaid of the Season Sal from Bella Filipina Designs. And I'm not gonna do a what it will look like when it's done because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's working along with this and actually in three days um, the winter one will come out so that's exciting I'm excited to see the winter one here's what it looks like last time you saw it and 
And here's what it looks like now. Her upper body is all done except for the beads. And I started the outline of her tail right here. So she's coming right along. And she is at, I think, around 30% done. And she's really pretty. I need to order the beads for her because every time I work on her, I get so much done. These are quite small. And I'm going to be ready for beading on that in no time. Next up is Dimensions. A Treasured Time. Oh, this is a beast. This project is a beast. I have not as much done on it as... When I picked it up, I didn't really feel like working on it. So what I ended up doing was moving it into Pattern Keeper, which took a while. Um, because putting paper patterns in Pattern Keeper can be a little bit tedious. For me, anyways. But I got it done. And I started working. My I'm trying to get the entire center of this pattern done. So that... When I, before it was in Pattern Keeper, I didn't want to have to switch back and forth between pages. But now that it's in Pattern Keeper, I can pretty much do whatever I want. And so I started working down here, um, trying to get to the corner. Now I want to find the corners. But this is the, the bridge, and you can see the outlines of the people and a dog. And this is going to be a really pretty piece. It might take me the rest of my life to finish it though. Right now it's at, in Pattern Keeper, 7.92%. Actually, that's not bad. I, I, I can finish that in this lifetime, I think. I hope. So that is a treasure time from Dimensions. Um, I have two more pieces that I worked on that you've seen before, and then I have a couple new starts. This one I'm working on for my boyfriend for Christmas. That's the goal. I would like to have this done for Christmas. Here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. I think the only thing I did is I finished this character right here. I got the pieces and I finished her up. And yeah, I, that's really, really coming along. I think there's three characters left, and they are gonna go uh, down here. They're they're wider, so they'll take up more space. These were all the taller, narrower characters. So, the, and that's from the video game uh, called Chrono Trigger. It's an old Nintendo game. That's that one. And then I have the Leaf Collector from Mirabilia. Or from Nora Corbett. Sorry, this is a Nora Corbett. And here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. She is really coming along. All that's left is, well, all the beading, obviously. And then the leaves that she's holding that she's kind of like throwing or well, I guess she's collecting them and the rest of her skirt down here. And you'll notice I did her thighs and I did them two over two instead of one over one like I did her uh, upper body. And I'm probably gonna pick it out and redo it one over one. I just want it to match, but I won't do one over one again. I, I mean, I say that now, I probably will do it again. I'll forget this feeling and do it again, but that is the Leaf Collector. Next up, I have two new starts. The first one is a Christmas one. It's from Madame Chantilly. Here's what it will look like when it's done. And here is my tiny little start. The poinsettias and the flower pot. I figure this one is at about 
five percent. It, it's probably more than five percent, honestly, because there's no back stitching in this piece. I picked this. Um, it's called Petty Point uh, Gray and White Lugana, and I, I thought it would look like snow falling, and I don't regret it. This is kind of fun stuff to work on. I wasn't sure. I hadn't used it before. I wasn't sure like what these dots were, and they're almost like paint. So when you put the needle through, it kind of like breaks the. surface I don't know it breaks breaks through the little little paint bubbles but it's fun and it looks really nice so that is winter delivery from Madame Chantilly and my final news start is my Chatelaine that I got from the Chatelaine sale and this is the beginning of the winter berry from the Chatelaine. I left it in the snare tube because you can see everything that I've done with it still in the hoop. This thing I started, I'm waiting on the vast majority of the supplies to still come. I had ordered them from a small shop and it's been about six weeks now and I haven't gotten them yet so fingers crossed any day now they will show up. But I've done everything that I can in the first section, including the specialty stitches, which it tells you to save until last. So will I regret it? Probably. But I'm here now. You can see up here there's um, Algerian eyelets and road stitches, which were actually a lot of fun to do. They're using a uh, Glorianus variegated silk. And then, uh, this is just going to be so beautiful. I just know it. I just know it. I'm so excited. I wasn't sure what kind of fabric I was going to use. I knew in the back of my mind that I could always use, um, I have a whole yard of this uh, 32 count Belfast linen from Zweigart in white. And I knew in the back of my mind, like, I'm probably just going to end up doing it on that. I think winter pieces look really nice on light blues, but there is so much blue. There's probably like 20 shades of blue in this project and I didn't want them to get washed out. So I had to, I had to do it on the white. I just, we'll see. Oh, because I actually bought, when the sale happened, I actually ended up buying the whole set. So there's four, there's the spring, Fairy, what comes after spring? Oh, summer fairy, fall fairy, and winter fairy. So I ended up buying all four. And I think I'm probably going to do all four. Um, but I don't think I'll end up doing them all on white because I think the winter colors lend itself really well to white and maybe the spring colors, but I would like to do the summer on something a little warmer and probably the same with the fall like I could see doing the fall on like a natural or a brown I don't know we'll see but that's where that is at which leaves I started making project bags I made the vinyl front project bags um, and I love them I used the tutorial from Elizabeth Ann can stitch and I made my first one and then I started kind of tweaking it, making it my own. Look at this one. It's got like floss and scissors and little embroidery hoops. And this does not photograph well, but it is like a mint color. And I love it. It it looks bluer on camera than it is. This is this is a mint. It's like pistachio ice cream or mint chocolate chip like that's exactly what it looks like and then uh, this guy I got this fabric from Joann's and it's like so candy so candy and then this one this fabric I wanted to find a mermaid fabric and it was I had a hard time finding mermaid fabric I ended up getting this from Spoonflower which I guess they um artists 
draw pictures and then Spoonflower prints it onto fabric. So that's where that one came. If you're interested in any of these bags, the information about them will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays.